Hello, Shane Metter here from the National Steam Preservation Society. Uh, today we're going to be media blasting the 576's boiler. So we want to remove all the scale, rust, debris, whatnot. Uh, and get it good and clean so that we can actually do a thorough inspection. It's a media, it's actually what we're using is, is called nickel slag, and it is a very coarse material, but it's, it's small, it's fine granular material that's very hard, and it's blasted through a nozzle using compressed air. And when that compressed air is mixed with this media, and it intersects or hits the boiler metal, what it does is it actually cleans, it blasts all the loose scale rust debris off of that metal to make it nice and not necessarily shiny, but it definitely makes it what we call white metal finish. I'm Jeff Risendine. I'm volunteer coordinator for National Steam Preservation Society. We don't want to really media blast it under the shed. It just really makes a mess. It's not good to make a mess in a place that we're basically visitors. Um, the whole, whole thing is with all the plastic is, is we're reusing the media um, up to two or three times. Number one, save us cost, and um, we initially started out with 10,000 pounds of media, and if we don't reuse it, it won't be enough. We don't expect rain today, but uh, we are expecting rain later in the week, so we want to do as much as we can um, with the exterior of the boiler uh, while we're, you know, it's not raining. As you can see, if it rains and we've got media, which is like sand, and it gets wet, we can't reclaim that and reuse it. So we expect this process to take about, um, probably about 40 hours or so uh, total. Uh, so working, obviously, you know, eight hour days, well then we expect to have it done in about a week. But when the entire exterior is completed, then what we'll do is actually work on the inside as well. And we'll blast clean it too just so that we can inspect and do a, a real thorough job. Uh, once this process is complete, uh, then we'll actually uh, lay out a, what we call a grid, which is essentially a pattern we'll paint on the boiler. And then we'll have uh, one of our sponsors, World Testing, come out and actually UT uh, all those different intersecting spots to check the thickness of the boiler metal. First steps in that process are starting today. <laughs> 